Border Protection says they've had 50% fewer migrants crossing the southern border in January compared to December. Meanwhile, in Texas, the governor's border barriers have also slowed migrant crossings. However, migrants are still finding ways to cross the Rio Grande River. Chelsea Torres spoke with the Texas Department of Public Safety about its anti-smuggling operation. Chelsea. That's right, Scott, Don. you know, the National Guard here in Texas uh, has really helped prevent a lot of migrants from crossing in areas like Eagle Pass. And so Texas DPS has had to shift a lot of manpower to other things such as catching human smugglers at the river. And DPS tells me that if they were not able to move a lot of those deputies over to the river and catching those smugglers who are guiding migrants across, then those migrants would end up being gotaways. Now, Texas DPS says a year ago, the Department formed an anti-smuggling operation along with Border Patrol. The focus, to find smuggling guides, also known as coyotes. Coyotes help migrants cross the river. Then the coyotes lead the migrants to another human smuggler to drive them further north. Some of these smugglers are able to get away, and some are caught by DPS, like those in this DPS dash cam video. In the past year, the anti-smuggling operation caught 1,800 migrants and prosecuted 145 coyotes for human smuggling. One of the issues that Border Patrol was facing was that they weren't able to prosecute those individuals that were bringing people across. So you had this constant evolve, you know, revolving cycle where they would get caught and then get deported back to Mexico and then do it again the same day or the following day. Now, having those troopers in place working with Border Patrol, we can actually arrest them, take them to jail, and file state charges for human smuggling. The anti-smuggling operation has arrested 11 coyotes so far this month. In McAllen, Texas, Chelsea Torres, Fox 32, Chicago.